Hi students, today we are going to discuss about source qualifier transformation for different types of files. Earlier we discussed about source qualifier transformation for a relational database sources, relational sources. Now we will discuss for files. Uh, as compared to our relational database sources, we don't have many options in source qualifier transformation of files. If you can see here, all those options which were available in relational source qualifier are disabled here. Only tracing level is active. Tracing level is for uh, logging the logging the operations. Here, tracing level means uh, while writing or log the operations which integration service performs related to these transformations. If you put it normal, it will write on transaction levels. Uh, and if you put it verbose data, then it will, the integration service writes long uh, for each row of this transformation. Uh, so this is how this now tracing, uh, tracing level option works. Generally we put it, we keep it as normal. Uh, so same as our relational source qualifier we have all these five ports all these five tabs here in ports tab you find columns and in a properties tab you don't find much only the stressing level is active so this is how we create it and when it comes to uh, XML and XML source qualifier transformation, I will show you. Uh, it has different symbol. You can see this source qualifier transformation and relational source qualifier transformation. Uh, both has same icon uh, mentioned as SQ here. But for XML transformation, XML source, you have you will find a different icon. see here this is an xml transformation xml source qualifier transformation there this is our xml source and if you see our xml source qualifier transformation has only five tabs transformation tab to name your transformation and ports tab in this ports tab it has uh, generally we have or we don't see uh, in our regular source code for transformation this root and, and this x book and this x root uh, bars and these are these will be present only in SQL uh, source code for transformation of XML x root is a root element uh, if someone understands uh, XML, the XML concepts, you, we will have some root element and then uh, our uh, source file elements uh, like suppose, suppose we have an XML file for employee then in e every XML file you will find a root element under which uh, you find data so that is this root element and this FK XPK, these are uh, PK and FK is for uh, for the tags which were there in XML data. You will understand these concepts only if you have some idea about XML. Uh, I don't go much into XML concepts here. Okay, so now XML source qualifier has only these five four tabs 
and in property staffs you don't find many many things uh, only tracing level reset and restart reset and restart are uh, is for generating key if you see here xpk book and xpk root these are big ins right if you observe them it will generate a sequence generate a key uh, if you check this reset option every time when you run it will reset the uh, the generated key value to the uh, initial value and restart is also same <coughs> Okay, so these are all the av available options in XML source qualified transformation. We have another transformation, application so source qualified. Generally, we don't use that transformation very often. Uh, that transformation will be used only when you work with COBOL or mainframe files. Copal or mainframe files. If you see here, application multi group source qualifier transformation. If you want to, that also has a different icon. Uh, if you want to see, I'll show you. Just wait. SQ underscore. Multi group application source qualifier. Okay, uh, unless you have the source files, the, it will not, this transformation will not be created. Uh, we don't have uh, these COBOL files or VSAM files readily available with us, so I'll just. Mm, it just uh, give you a brief idea about the application source qualifier. This source qualifier, as I told you earlier, only can be used with COBOL source files or VSAM file, mainframe files. Uh, in COBOL source files, uh, you will find hierarchical data. Uh, and in application source qualifier, uh, you will see the same type of arrangement uh, as you see in COBOL or VSAM files. Uh, generally, it will have normalized data. Uh, these COBOL files have normalized data. Uh, so we will put a normalizer after that. Uh, those are different concepts. And when you have uh, the business, business requirements, to deal with your COBOL or VSAM files, then you will come across this application source qualifier. Uh, it will not, it generally uh, you don't find these sources uh, working with these sources very often. Uh, mostly you use uh, flat file source qualifiers and relational source qualifiers. And next comes this XML source qualifiers. Uh, mostly you deal with these three types of source qualifiers. So this is how you, these, these are all the options you have in flat file source qualifier transformations. Uh, uh, and if you can see here, you will get some doubt. Uh, these are SQL query and user defined join source filters. All these are option. All these were available at source qualifier level for relational type sources. So, so we so we use all these options uh, readily, and we developed our requirements. So now, if since these are option, these options are disabled for our sources, our flat file sources, then how to filter some data? or how to join our files. And so these kind of questions may arise to you. Uh, so that's it, that is why we have different transformations 
uh, 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 individual transformations for each each of these actions for user defined join we have our joiner transformation so whenever you deal with your files file sources if you want to join your data if you want to join two files then you have to go for a joiner transformation uh, since you don't have this user defined join option and for source filter option you have uh, you have filter transformation and number of sorted ports for this you have transfer uh, sorted transformation and since this this is a file you cannot write sql statements here so that is why these two operations you cannot perform uh, if you want to perform any some file changes or some file operations then you have to handle them at unix unix level if you have uh, unix uh, then you can process these files at uh, in unix then you can <coughs> bring bring it to uh, bring it as your source so this is how we deal with our file file source qualifier transformations thank you